my little artist. Uh, today we have a very special guest that has come with his honey um, on our art trip around the school. This is Larry the Line. Larry the Line. Now listen, Larry. Hold on, let me cover his ears so he doesn't hear me. Larry is he's actually a snake, right? He's a snake, but he thinks he's a line. Hey, does anybody know what a line is? Well, a line is two is a dot that went for a walk, right? There's all sorts of types of different lines. You can do straight lines, or wiggly lines, or curvy lines, or pointy lines, dotted lines, and polka dotted lines. There's lots and lots of lines. So Larry, shh, don't tell him. Larry thinks he's a line. We know he's a snake, but let's not tell him. We don't want to hurt his feelings, okay? But Larry is here today to read a poem to us all about lines. Okay, so Miss Honey's gonna tell you the poem with help of Larry. And then when I'm done, we're gonna do it one more time so you guys can help me out, okay? All right, here we go, y'all ready? Larry the line is a friend of mine. He can make any line for me. He can make a vertical line, a diagonal line. Oh, I did. Did you do it? Larry the line is a friend of mine. He can make any line for me. He can make a vertical line, a horizontal line. Larry the line is a friend of mine. He can make any line for me. He can make a vertical line, a diagonal line, and a horizontal line. As he curves, he can zigzag, and with a twist and a turn, and when he's out of his wavy tangle, he makes a nice angle. All right, if you don't know what an angle is, an angle is when something is bent, right? It can, it creates this angle right here. All right, um, any line he can make, after all, he's a snake. All right, guys, let's do it one more time, but I want you guys to help me, okay? So when we're making vertical lines, you get your Larry out, you make a vertical line and a diagonal line and a horizontal line, and then make your wavy lines. Okay, let's do this together. Here we go. Larry the line is a friend of mine. He can make any line for me. He can make a vertical line, a diagonal line, and a horizontal line. As he curves and he zigzags, and with a twist and a turn, and when he's out of his wavy tangle, he makes a nice angle. And any line he can make, after all, he is a snake. All right, guys, so Larry's gonna sit right here and watch. Um, he might come around and visit you guys in a little bit if we make sure we're working really, really quiet. Um, he might come see what you're doing, okay? All right, so today I want to decorate our own Larry the Line. So we have got, uh, I'm gonna hand out, actually it's in your workbook, on page six and seven, uh, we are going to decorate our own Larry the Line with all the lines we just uh, talked about, okay? Um, now, we know that there's lots and lots of different lines, so we're gonna work on those first, okay? And we're gonna do this together in just a minute. Uh, but we know that there are straight lines, all right? I'm gonna make a straight line. There are wavy lines. Uh, there's zigzag lines. Those kind of have a pointy top and a pointy bottom. Uh, we have dashed lines. That's a line that's kind of broken, right? It's got little broken pieces. Uh, we have a squiggly line. Those are fun. It's kind of like a roller coaster. Uh, we have a castle line that goes up to a squarish point and down to a square point. Um, we have shark lines. Those are fun. They look like little sharks coming out of the waves. 
And then we have swirls. The swirls is my favorite. The swirl is uh, making a circle with your hand, but then instead of connecting the circle, you get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, guys, so we're gonna turn to page six in our workbook and page seven. And we're gonna work on these together. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna make some of our lines and then we are gonna copy those lines over to our Larry the line here to decorate them. Now we're gonna use our markers today and we know how to use markers, right? We talked about this before. We know that we only get out how many at a time? Just one. But when we're done with that one, we can put it back and get out another one. You can use as many as you would like, but as long as we only get one out at a time. And we know the most important rule of markers is when we're done with that lid, we have to snap that cap, right? Make sure you hear it snap. If you don't hear it snap, it probably didn't close all the way. So snap that cap so they don't dry up, okay? All right, so we're gonna do this together. Uh, get your markers out and turn to page six and seven and we're gonna do this together. All right, guys, we are going to work on our Larry the Line today. Um, so I've got my finished products. So this is what you're gonna make today. We're gonna decorate our Larry the Line with all the different lines that we've learned. And if you use a different color for each one, it really makes it look nice. Um, so we're gonna turn to page six of our art workbook book. And these show us the different lines that we're gonna learn. And we're gonna do this super quick to learn how to make some lines. So you can either use your pencil or you can use one of your markers. Now we're gonna use our markers today and we know that how many markers do we get at one time? Only one. And when we're done with it, we make sure we put it away and then you can get out another one. You can use as many as you like as long as you only get out one at a time. And when we're done with our marker, what's the most important rule that we need to do? We make sure that we snap that cap so our markers don't dry out. Okay, I'm gonna use blue. So the first line that we're gonna learn here is a straight line, and that one's super easy. We just draw a straight line. All right, now let's do a wavy line. Wavy lines are kind of like the ocean where it goes up in a soft curve and down with a soft curve. So we're gonna draw a wavy line from one side to the other. All right, the next line is a zigzag line. This one looks kind of like a mountain range. It goes up to a pointy top and down to a pointy bottom. It's not smooth, right? It's very pointy. So, like jagged teeth. <coughs> Draw your way for your zigzag line. All right, next we have a dashed line. A dashed line is a line that's broken, right? So it's, it goes like this. You just draw little lines all the way across. Our next line we're gonna learn is the squiggle line. This one's kind of fun to make. It's kind of like a roller coaster. It goes up to a loop-de-loop. -loop. All right, so here we go. This one's kind of hard, but it's fun. So you go up, around, and down. Up, around, and down. Do that all the way across. <laughs> and this makes a squiggly line. All right, next we have this castle line. This one's really fun. It looks like the top of a castle. That's why they call it that. And to make this, you're gonna go up, over, and down. Kind of like you're about to draw a square, but instead of going back to make a square, you're gonna go the other way. Then go up, over, down, across. Up, over, down, across. All the way across your paper make a castle line. All right, the next one is a shark's line. This one kind of looks like a shark in the water. So to make this one, it's kind of like our zigzag line, except for the lines are kind of curved a little bit like a backward C. So to make this, we're gonna go up with a backward C and then down, and then up like a backward C and down. <coughs> Do this all the way across. Now, this one's a little bit hard, so just do the best you can. All right, my favorite line is the swirls line. And this one makes little swirlies. And it's kind of fun to make because you start off by making a circle, but instead of connecting the circle, 
you get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, so make your swirly line all the way across. Now we've learned how to make all of our lines. Okay, when you're done, make sure you put your lid on your marker. We always, what? Snap that cap. All right, we're gonna turn the page. Now, if you need to look at this line again, at these lines again, you may do so, um, but we're gonna turn the page to our Larry the Line paper, and we're gonna start making our lines. And I'm gonna use a different color for each line. So I'm gonna start off with red. You can use whatever color you want. And we're gonna start off about right here on Larry's neck. And we're gonna make our first line. And our first line is that zigzag line. So. I'm gonna make a zigzag line right here. I'm gonna go up to a pointy bottom, down to a pointy bottom, up to a pointy top, down to a pointy bottom, okay? That's just the one I chose. All right, let's do a swirl line next. Remember, that's the one, uh, I'm sorry, a curly line. And that's the one that looks like a roller coaster. So if you forget which they look like, just go back to your other page and find the squiggly line. And I'm gonna draw the squiggly line all the way up. All right, next, let's do that dashed line. Remember the dashed line was that one that was broken, had the broken line, right? So let's do a dashed line all the way across. Can't fit very many on there, but we can do the best we can. All right, let's try the, let's see, the castle line. That one's really cool. We'll go up to a square, over and down, across, over, or up, over, down, across. All right, if you forget which one it looks like, go back to the other page. All right, let's do, let's do the swirls line. I really like that swirls one. All right, so we're just gonna make a few little small swirls all the way across. I think I can fit three in there. All right, what's left? Let's see, let's maybe try that shark one. If you forget what it looks like, go to the other page. So there's my shark one. All right, so I'm gonna go backwards C, over down, backwards C, down, backwards C, down. There we go. All right, we haven't done a wavy one yet. Let's make us a wavy line. I'm gonna start here and go down and make a wavy line. All right, are we missing any? Oh, a straight line, of course. Of course, Miss Sunny, let's do a straight line. That's easy. In fact, you could probably even do a couple straight lines in a row. That kind of makes it look like a stripe. And I think we've done them all. Let's make sure we have. All right, now what we can do is start over and do them again. So our first one, of course, was the zigzag. And then we've got our swirly. Do my swirly one right here. All right, so you can go ahead and finish yours. Um, you can do whichever lines you like in whatever color you would like. But please make sure that when you're done with that marker, you snap that cap. Um, if you get done with all of your lines all the way to the end, so look at mine, I did all my lines all the way to the end. Once you get done with that, if you've got some time, you are welcome to color uh, Larry's tongue and his eyes, whatever color you'd like. All right.